We're asking um, this question on everyone in, in this series, but I think um, you can probably tackle it from the lens of, 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 of tackling bias. Um, how can HR help the business identify the critical skills for the future? And as I said, maybe you can tackle that from a, a lens of, of tackling bias and, and what skills do the, do the workforce need to do that? I think that, the, that HR needs to understand and communicate exactly how bias plays out in everyday ways. Um, for example, um, other people get credit for ideas I originally offered. Much lower levels of white men say yes than women or people of color. Um, uh, women tend to get interrupted much more than men do. Um, the um, when the behavior that in a white man would probably be seen as a career enhancing passion for the business may be seen in a black man as intimidating or in a, uh, in a white woman as evidence that she is um, uh, she has sharp elbows. These are really, really concrete things that happen every day. And it's not enough just to provide an abstract des description of like the cognitive bases of bias. That's interesting, but it's a college lecture. Yeah. Um, you need to explain to people precisely what's happening on the ground and then provide an, a forum where they can work with their colleagues to say, this is how I would feel comfortable interrupting this. And it's usually not going to be, um, to, to use Google's phrase, calling out the bias. That's bias. You know, most people aren't going to do that. Most people have other ways to spend their political capital. What they need is low-key, um, cordial ways that nonetheless interrupt the bias seamlessly without antagonizing everyone. And that's really what people, it, I, we have found that if you give people those ways, or more precisely, if you allow them to explore those and find those ways with their colleagues, they are just phenomenally relieved that they finally know what to do. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.